What's good, y'all? This is Gail Nancy here. I just want to give y'all a quick update on, um, I got an interview, basically. Uh, it's at this restaurant that I was getting a lot of negativity from, but I was actually hit up by the hiring manager, supposed to be hiring manager. Ain't no telling if that's true or not, but, uh, we have to see what it is, and she's pretty cool, and I don't know, it just, I just hope it works out. And we'll see how it goes on the interview, but it's supposed to be tomorrow around 1.30. So I'm probably going to hit out around 1 o'clock and uh, get up on up there. And why, when I was chilling, just relaxing, watching YouTube and shit, landlord already came by to pick up the garbage this morning, blowing a damn horn about 40, 50 minutes late already. They say it'll be uh, around 9 o'clock. Make sure you have your garbage out there. I have my garbage out there, motherfucker. Blowing a horn around that damn time. Ain't my fault you coming out like that shit. But anyways, though, uh, why is this motherfucker gonna call me up? And it's I think it's like around yeah, it's about nine something right now. And basically, hand me a plate of food. Motherfucker calling me every day, harassing me every day. Not like harass me, harass me, but motherfucker give me food knowing I ain't about to eat it. Motherfucker spits on it all the motherfucker time. Whenever I was over, that motherfucker spitting all over the shit. I ain't about to eat your food, bruh. You spitting all over the motherfucker food. Literally spitting over it. You can see the motherfucker spit coming out of his motherfucking mouth. So, anyways, though, why he gonna. I just let the motherfucker know I got an interview. He's like, where? Blah, 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 blah. I shouldn't even say that shit. I don't know what the fuck made me say that shit. My head has been killing me all fucking day, so it probably has something to do with it. And motherfucker be like, oh, what is that? What the, what the, what the, what the, And I show him the text message saying, this was that, because he wanted the name. Might want to go there and eat or whatever, okay. But, um, yeah, anyways, the motherfucker, oh, I'm going to call him right now. I'm like, what the fuck are you going to And he might be open. I was like, I hope these motherfuckers ain't open. Like, this motherfucker get on this damn phone. You gonna try and make my nerves bad by disrespecting me and shit. Make me hate this bitch even more. And make me even hate whatever, whatever even more. And wind up losing my interview and shit. Or losing the job, possibly having a job of getting the place. So I just know I can't do no shit like that. Uh-uh, don't mention, no, say nothing, don't. No, don't do that shit. <laughs> but I don't know what made me do it the first place, but... Basically, I don't know why this racist ass, well, I can have a pretty good point why this racist motherfucker wanted to call him for, obviously, but, um, hopefully things go good, hopefully they pay good, hopefully I get me a, um, a spot where I ain't around a lot of people that I can just do my own thing in my own world and shit, but I know whenever I went there, the, um, one of the racist people I was talking to there, slash hateful whatever person I was talking to, uh, basically saying they needed somebody to bust tables. I ain't trying to bust no motherfucking tables, but <laughs> see, I ain't about to do no bust no motherfucking table. That's for those little kids, you feel me? But um, we'll see what it is, and if it's something I gotta do, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But, bro, I need to go in the back of the kitchen, you feel me? I ain't about to bust no motherfucking table. For real. Ain't no other places call me back up yet, so fuck, I gotta get whatever I can right now. And uh, my taxes, I don't know what's going on with it. I haven't got no phone call back yet. But I'm definitely going to be checking on it uh, tomorrow and see what's going on. Because I ain't getting no call back from them. And they got my last two MW2s and shit. <laughs> and I had the um, paperwork that I had got from them in the mail, if it was from them. And it's basically supposed to give me a certain percentage off or something or whatever. Or give me more. I don't know. But, um, yeah, they ain't call me back up. So, I'm definitely called in and see what the hell going on. Because I gave you my shit. Motherfucker, I need my shit back if you ain't going to do nothing with it. You feel me? And if you ain't going to give me, oh, boy, it's going to be a problem. But anyways, though, man, I was been <clears throat> figuring shit out on every fucking thing. And I really want to get my... AR done so badly. I have the money to do it. And I have money to uh, last me a good two or three more months. But I need the money right now. I don't know how long it'll be. 
what I don't have no job, you know. And if I do get one, how long will that last, you know? Will it last long enough for me to get a paycheck? Will it last long enough for me to get two paychecks? I don't know. So, it's just something I got to do with. Do I still want to leave this place if I don't get nothing in two months? Most definitely want to leave this place because I can't, I just can't be in this type of um, dick me or whatever, you know? Living miserable or whatever. So, uh, I think I want to... Go to a town slash city that's somewhat close to where I'm at and see where I want to go from there and just go ahead, you know, dive off. But, um, it'd be a long trip, but a long trip well worth it. I know I'll be good. Shit. I know how I live out there. I've been through fucking so much, so I can definitely live by myself out there. I can make my own house, my own building. I can have my own electricity, my own water. I know how to do all this and that shit, so I'll be good on that. I just ain't gonna be going out there and not knowing what to do or not knowing nothing. I know how to survive out there. I've been doing it <laughs> more than uh, five times, so shit. Definitely ain't gonna be you no know, deal breaker for me. So, anyways, though, yeah, I just definitely wanna go to a place far away from this motherfucker. Even though I don't have the money like I was wanting to have, because I can't make no sales, because motherfuckers out here broke as hell, charge off you $200, $300 for a thousand dollar item, broke ass motherfuckers. But, anyways, though, I had ordered me some food. Amazon already dropped off my last item I paid for. Excuse me, I don't know how they ain't dropped off the first items I paid for. But, uh, that's the crazy um, hit, I guess. I don't know, but should be here in the morning for the rest of my stuff. Hopefully, if not, the latest be on the 18th, so we'll see. But uh, I got me a whole box of some gummies, pack of 40, and I only paid so much for it, and I've been grubbing. <laughs> but this is it right here. We got about 40 of them in this motherfucker. Amazon's a way to go. If you try to open up a candy store or something like that, you can make a whole lot of money off that website. I ain't gonna lie to you. They got it so cheap now, cause I guess shit ain't selling. But um Yeah, I got uh two pack well one pack of Raymond noodles, a set of forty something packs, and um I ain't paid much at all. And I had ordered some what you call it? Oh, I can't think of it. Oatmeal, yeah, I ordered some oatmeal, and I had got me a, a decent amount. I mean, with different flavors and everything, I got that for a good steal. So, I know that shit definitely gonna last me a long time, fill me up. And I had got some other shit, too. So, I just can't wait till it gets here, and I'll be straight. And, uh, yeah, now I was checking out some new earrings that will definitely make, you know, make a shit pop. Some shit I can add on to this. And that shit looks good, but it's a little expensive, though. They had some real shit, but I don't doubt it's real. So I ain't gonna pay that much unless I get it from an actual store that sells actual, you know, shit. So anyways, though, I should do look good, though. But, um, yeah, if I, I'm trying to see how I can sell this one computer that I don't be using. Take out the hard drive. Probably want to get me a cheap hard drive to, um, reinstall Windows on it. And, um, see what they can do for me, you know. And just bring it to the pie shop. I'm sure they'll probably try to lowball me. But the lowest I'll probably take would be about 600 And I can make that double. Or I can just use it, you know, to get out of here. It'll help me a big, you know. It's whatever, but I'm going to figure it out. Because I already got three monitors. I only need one monitor. Or I need two, just in case, you know. But I only need one monitor. So if, uh, I'm going to see what I can do. But... Well, I just got to figure out some shit, you know. This is part of living. This is part of life. And you got to make it do. You got to make it right. You got to do whatever you can. You heard me? But we'll see on this interview. I'll let y'all know. I've been killing on my own warfare. Been getting all these shotguns gold. We're trying to get them gold. One of them is froze up. When ain't trying to go to the next level. It's just stuck. And I ain't getting no other skins unlocked for it. Even though they are showing they are locking, they ain't showing me. So, there's some type of fuck up on that map. But, um, I'll let y'all know more soon. And I haven't played none of the new games yet. So, 
Hopefully I can um, get them on recorded. But anyways, though, peace.